this chapter was very interesting because it touched on a topic that I've never heard before, which was eugenics in the United States. Um, a talk about um, one of the lectures specifically was about the chemical treatments that immigrants had to take at the border when they were crossing in El Paso, which is something that it blew my mind because I didn't know about it. Um, and this was started because of the typhus outbreak that happened in 1900s, in early 1900s. And I believe that the the role that race played here was that it was the poor that were more prone to to become ill, correct? So they back in the day they believed that that was a way to stop the disease. And what also blew my mind was that later on, um, actually, the Nazis took on that role. They play a big role back in the day because that's when um, border patrol was created and when the actual closure of the borders happened and they had this thing that was called um, quotas right so you were only allowed to have or a country you can uh, another country was only allowed a certain number of individuals per year depending on the population of their country right but that was eliminating the people that had learning disabilities that were deformed and had some kind of of illness. So that was back in the day the play the way that race played a big like um, an imminent role in in immigration. And through the years, I think that it has changed. However, not understanding how it was born and how it was created, it kind of creates more confusion. Um, and us, speci specifically now with the political climate and the division and everything that's going on in the country, like the whole racial profiling um, and all that doesn't make it easier. Um, does this lesson talk about um, the medicalization and touch about health from the beginning because health had a big role in the creation of the immigration system back in the day because that's how it started right like one of um, as I mentioned like the border crossings and all that so health has always been involved America is the number one country that provides health care to refugees and immigrants that come from other countries. Like in Mexico, we don't take care of Guatemalans um, immigrants, right? Like, or people that come from the South. Like everybody um, in the rest of the world, like nobody cares about the population healthcare more than the United States. And when you see the demographics and you see the, the data, um, as I work in the healthcare industry, um, it's about $5.5 billion on uncompensated care only in Texas for uninsured and underinsured um, patients. And what that means is that people that go to the ER, um, they don't pay their bills. So somebody has to take care of those bills and that is covered by the taxpayers. The highest percentage is by Medicaid, which is 62%. And um, the remaining comes from local governments and private funding. But for example, in El Paso, we have a big um, example when people cross the border and get medical treatment, and then they go back and then they don't pick up the tab. So um, America is still not denying care, even though it's very obvious that they're not going to take care of the bill. Americans in American hospitals and healthcare. Take care of that of that individual without knowing. So um, that is definitely a big role. Um, I don't see any race playing a role in that more than what chronic diseases are. So we have to see race as not a bad thing, but something that identifies us, right? So us Hispanics. Um, 
develop diabetes easier than uh, Pacific Islanders, whatever, right? So there's millions of dollars of American funding trying to find out and prevent the cure for that disease, like those chronic diseases, but also to prevent it. And that's aimed mainly to immigrants. So there's about $50 billion every year that goes to funding to take care of, of immigrants' health care. So I do believe that uh, the United States is a nation of immigrants and that race does play a role in immigration, but I don't think it's, like, I don't know, like, I don't think it's, a bad role that it plays. Like I believe at the beginning it was profiling and I believe that there's some bad intentions there, but I don't believe that nowadays the immigration system and the way the government is going is about racial profiling more than what than about national security.